Hello class, this is a short video in which I explain the first question on service quality indicator of your assignment on chapter 2. Uh, so as you can see, here is the homework measuring performance in operations management. And uh, the very first question is about the service quality indicator that FedEx has developed. So here you have a uh, a number of categories and you have the weights and number of errors on each uh, let's read the question each day a FedEx competitor processes approximately 80,000 shipments suppose that they use the same service quality index as FedEx and identified the following numbers of numbers of errors during a five-day week uh, these values are hypothetical and do not reflect any real company company's actual performance. So uh, let's uh, copy these values and paste them in an Excel workbook and see if we can use Excel to calculate the uh, service quality index or service quality indicator. So I will open a blank Excel sheet, paste these values from MindTap, let's make them uh, visible. So I have the weights here and the number of errors here. So if I want to calculate the weighted average, uh, a simple way to calculate the weighted average is using the sum product formula. So weighted average of these values uh, if I want to go ahead and calculate, it's going to be equal to sum product. So the formula is sum product. What does it do is that it takes two arrays of formula, two ranges, two ranges of values, two ranges of numbers, and multiply them uh, to each other and add them. What am I talking about? So basically, if I say sum product, first array is this array all the weights and then comma second array is this array all the errors this basically what this formula does is that it takes 3 multiplies it by 125 plus 10 times 18 plus 1 times 103 plus 1 times 279 and so on and so forth okay so basically pairwise multiplies these values and then add the product together this is some product okay so you're adding all the weighted sums okay weight, weighted values and then it needs to be divided by the total of weights okay remember we talked about the uh, regular uh, average and weighted average in a weighted average we divide by all the weights added up okay so the formula for that is going to be sum of all the weights so which are the values from b2 to b11 okay so one more time what i'm doing i'm doing i'm calculating the sum product pairwise multiplication of all these values and added up divided by sum of this blue column which is the sum of all the weights okay so this gives me 73.447 this is basically the average number of errors uh, a weighted average number of errors okay and remember the total number of shipments total number of shipments was 80,000 okay 80,000 let's go back here see that have 80,000 shipments per day okay so if I want to get the percentage of that so if I want to calculate the percentage of uh, errors I have to divide this value by this value okay so I go ahead and divide this which is the weighted average of all the errors by the total number of shipments okay this gives me this value and so this is the number of 
errors, okay? And then, um, um, the question is asking for service quality index or SQI, okay? So, so uh, this, this needs to be changed to a percentage form. So I change it to percentage and increase the decimal points to three as the question has asked. And the service quality indicator is one minus that, or basically 100 minus that. This is the percentage of errors. And then service quality uh, index is 100% minus that. Okay, how, uh, what is the quality of your service basically? Okay, the number of errors is, for example, here 0.092%. So 100 minus that, or one minus that, would give me the uh, quality uh, index. So one minus B15. That would be the SQI. You can see that it is 99.908%. Okay, so let's go ahead and check our work here 99.908 and see if this is correct. See that this is correct. So basically, one minus the uh, the weighted average and you saw how we calculated the weighted average please send me an email if you have any questions about the other assignments in this chapter and we can work on them offline take care guys